Hey guys and welcome into today's video. In today's video we're going to be reviewing Alpine 4. We're also going to be looking at three stocks. One stock that I have been buying up over the last few weeks. A stock with massive conviction that I think is going to 10x over this coming decade. And also two stocks that are channel favourites that we love to talk about. We're going to be doing a brief update on the technicals and looking at why they have sold off. Where we can expect them to go in the short term and where we can expect them to go over the next 12 to 24 months. The two stocks that I am talking about that our channel favorites are of course XBang and Neo and of course we are going to be looking at Nvidia which is a new stock that I have been loading up on. So guys let's quickly without further delay talk about Alpine 4 technicals what we have been seeing in the markets because we have seen some nice selling lately on most of these stocks they are down you know absolutely at their 52 week lows they are down a significant amount and it's funny that the market uh, was very negative yesterday with the sentiment with the war on Ukraine and Russia as an emphasis and what we have seen is we've actually seen a reversal we are seeing institutions every single week now start to scoop up that shares of Alpine and we are now starting to see some kind of level of support reason here so what I do believe technically is going to happen if we can come and close above this 21 day moving average we can trend above it for a few days and we can actually position ourselves above this 50 day moving average we do have a crossover on the 21 day then again we will start to then have some more bullish momentum which then should hopefully carry us through to a nice reversal so that is a technical setup that i am now looking for on the alpine 4 holdings chart so we are waiting for this thin line here to cross above this thick yellow line so that is something i'll be looking at every single day i have been buying the dip on this very nicely if you hadn't seen my latest video update on alpine and how i think they are going to be a tens of billions of dollars in market cap as a company over the next five years then please be sure to check out the video that i will link above it's extremely important if you are an alp shareholder so guys just a quick intro plug as well again my name is Jason if you haven't already be sure to go down there and make sure that you have smashed the like button for me it really does help out with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure that you are subscribed so you can get up-to-date information on your favorite stocks like Alpine, Neo, Xbang and of course new stocks that we are buying on our channel and of course if you would like to join our private patreon at all then feel free to join the discord community for the price of a coffee we have some fantastic investors in there and again one of our channel favorites is Alpine. We have an entire channel dedicated with people that talk about Alpine every single week. So guys, on the next chart that we can expect over the short term, we're going to be talking about Xpang and Neo because they have been selling off very, very highly over the last 52 weeks. We can see that we are now down at some areas of low, around the $24. And again, this is presenting some extreme value. If you go onto Google and you type in any type of Neo information and you go through any of the investors uh, that are talking about Neo right now, you can see that they are all saying that Neo is extremely undervalued at these metrics. We have the Chinese New Year that is happening over this month and of course what happens when we have the Chinese New Year we do actually have those people go on holiday so we can expect the deliveries to be lower in of course these two stocks over this month which means that we might still see a little bit of negative sentiment which means that we can get these shares at a cheaper cost over the next month hopefully we can come down back to around a $30 price range on Xpang and also with Neo hopefully we can come back down to around a $22 to $20 range if we do that guys I am certainly going to be loading up the boat on these two stocks once again because I do believe that over the next 24 months you are never ever going to see these prices at all unless we go into some form of massive recession which I do not believe is going to happen we'd have to have three unprofitable quarters throughout the year which is not happening at all yes we have a bit of high inflation right now but that is nothing to worry about over the long term the stock market is always going to go up and down with volatility but we have to use that volatility to our advantage electrical vehicles guys are here to stay they are the future and again this is some massive companies that are doing extremely well they have set themselves up to be the leaders in electrical vehicles energy storage and potentially autonomous technology so if you are wanting to have some of your portfolio with the exposure to these growth stocks Stocks that are going to be positioning themselves in the top three to the top five companies in the world like Tesla then these are the companies to get involved with now guys because there's never going to be another opportunity after this year to get these shares at these prices because once we come into 2023 moving through into 25 we are going to see a massive demand for electrical vehicles we already are seeing the demand go up and it's absolutely insane we are projecting over 44 million uh, units to be sold in electrical vehicles over the next three and a half to four years and right now we are only at two and a half to three million units 
And I have recently been in contact with a friend of mine who has pointed out that Neo are now advertising jobs in England, which means I do believe that they are going to be planning to set up some kind of network here in the UK, which again is going to allow them to have even more market exposure over these next few years. They are trying to be the leaders, guys, in electrical vehicles. Tesla, Xpang, and Neo are so much further ahead of any of the competition, and it's going to be so difficult for traditional automobiles makers to keep up because they already have all of their partnerships they are already producing over a hundred thousand vehicles per year and they already have the autonomous technology that they have been working on over these last few years to increase those sales to get that market cap up they have their brand name and they are doing extremely well and i really believe in the future that neo is going to be somewhere close to about 80 to 88 dollars per share over the next two years so getting in at these prices guys is an absolutely fantastic to load the boat if you are someone that is going to set and forget that is the best way to be in the stock market use this time and this downtime of volatility to your advantage while we see some selling in these numbers coming through into march use this time guys to load up on these shares because i'm telling you over the next decade you are not going to regret being invested in companies like tesla like expand like neo because again the future is electric and these companies have positioned themselves extremely well and what relates to all of this guys is nvidia nvidia corporation are an extremely great company they have a fantastic balance sheet they have fantastic assets again with what they do as a company they are involved in so many different metrics they are the leader guys in of course chip manufacturing and so many other markets that they are tapping into they are also tapping into the metaverse so this company are going to be here to stay and this company could be absolutely enormous and what i love about the technical setup guys is the fact that there's only a few times in history that we actually do come back down and we test onto this 200 day moving average we have actually just had a breakdown below the 200 day moving average recently and we have now rebounded off with bullish momentum and again because of the negative sentiment yesterday we actually sold off seven percent so we are coming back down towards this 200 day moving average so this is a stock guys that you should definitely be looking to pop onto your radar because over the long term i do believe that nvidia is going to absolutely dominate generate some absolute enormous cash flows they are a beast they will be here to stay and this company is easily going to be five six seven hundred dollars plus in the future so again this is just easy money if you are someone that is to buy and hold a company like this there is no competition they have absolutely no competition on their name and they are just going to continue to increase as this decade progresses with artificial intelligence energy storage and of course all of those new aspects like the metaverse that are now currently being created so guys, I do hope that you did enjoy this quick update today on some of our channel favorite stocks like Neo, Xpang, what I'm doing, how I'm buying and using this cycle of volatility to my advantage, to my upside over this next few years, because I really do believe in the long-term projections of this stocks. And of course, Alpine is now showing some kind of major support area, and we are now bouncing despite the fact that the rest of the market is selling off. So this is some really good news, guys. I'm very happy to report all of this information information to you i have never been more excited about my stock market portfolio despite the fact that quite a lot of my stocks have sold off from their all-time highs but that doesn't bother me because i continue to dollar cost average in every single month and that is the best thing that you can do if you are investing over the long term you will be amazed at how that works out over the long term in your portfolio and just a reminder if you haven't seen my last update on alpine then be sure to check that out because it has some really really useful information again about what kent wilson is saying in his latest interview with their new acquisition with rca so guys that wraps up this video thank you for tuning in today i hope you all have a fantastic weekend make sure to tell me what you guys are up to in the comments what you thought of this video and of course what stocks you are watching i absolutely love hearing from you thank you for your continued support if you would like to do anything else then feel free to check out the link below again to the private patreon and also make sure that you guys are subscribed with the notification bell turned on so that you are notified every time that we make content like this guys have a fantastic weekend like i said and i look forward to seeing you in my next video until then ciao Thank you.